Hello, welcome to the Magical Arts Channel. Today we'll be talking about Paul Lear. Paul Lear is one of the greatest future fantastic painters of the post-pulp era. His art dominated science fiction covers in the mid-1960s into the 1970s. Lear studied illustration at the Pratt Institute, where he worked under Stanley Metzoff. His first ever science fiction book cover was for the American edition of Jeffrey Lloyd's Castle Satellite E1, which shows a realistic depiction of the construction unusually shaped space station along with images of spacecraft rendered in mostly shades of gray. His 1960 book cover illustration for Brian W. Aldous's Starship and his cover for Robert Sheckley's Journey Beyond Tomorrow, published in 1962, shows him moving towards the less representational style that would later be his trademark. Many of his works depict surreal environments populated by bizarre structures that convey a sense of immense scale compared to the cityscapes in the foreground. Very often in his artwork, the human figures are often small and insignificant in contrast to large structures that dominate his work. However, Lear showed that he was quite capable of foregrounding the human figure. In the 1973 cover for Frank Herbert's The Godmakers, which depicts a skyward looking statue being worshipped by a shrouded figure. For many of his paintings, Lear showed that he was quite skilled in using bright pastel colors, which tended to make his covers stand out amidst others, dominated by darker hues. In the 1980s, American publishers started to prefer more realistic art in their covers. Lear turned to, to covers for science fiction magazines such as Analog, Omni, Tomorrow Speculative Fiction, and Weird Tales, as long as covers for other foreign publishers, and remained active until his death in 1998. The images presented here really don't do the actual art justice. You really have to look at the actual pieces. You really have to look at the actual pieces in order to appreciate the amount of work that Lear put into each painting. Unfortunately, there aren't any art books exclusively to Paul Deere. However, you might be able to find his artwork 
and some art books dedicated to science fiction art. If you'd like to know more about Paul Lear, be on the lookout for a groundbreaking documentary titled The Visionary World of Paul Lear that's currently in production. I have provided a link to the trailer in the description below.